Welcome aboard, and thanks for flying with us. We're committed to making your flight safe and comfortable. So before we depart, we'll be showing a brief safety presentation. This information can help you if there's an emergency, so it's important to pay close attention, even if you are a frequent flyer. All carry-on items should now be stored securely, either in an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. And all aisles, exits, and bulkhead areas should be clear. Your mobile phones and other electronic devices should be turned off. Once airborne, we'll let you know when you can use approved electronic devices. But note that some items, such as phones, may not be used in flight at any time. You'll find a list of approved electronic devices in the in-flight information section of Sky Magazine. If you're seated at an emergency exit, please review the responsibilities for emergency exit seating on the back of the safety information card, which is in your seat pocket. Are you okay sitting by the emergency exit? If you're unable or prefer not to perform these functions, just let us know and we'd be happy to find you another seat. As we leave the gate, make sure your seatbelt is fastened. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle and adjust the strap so it's low and tight across your lap. To release the belt, just lift the top of the buckle or press the latch to release. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened anytime the seatbelt sign is on. And even if the sign is off, you should keep your seatbelt fastened in case we experience unexpected rough air. For everyone's safety, federal regulations require all passengers to comply with the posted placards and lighted signs located throughout the cabin, as well as any crew member instructions. You cannot smoke. I'm so sorry. Smoking is not allowed on any Delta flight, and federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying a restroom smoke detector. There are six exits on this plane, four doors, two on each side, and two window exits over the wing. Each door has a detachable slide that can be used for flotation. Life rafts are located in ceiling compartments at the front and center of the plane. All exits are clearly marked with an exit sign. However, if there is a loss of power and cabin visibility is reduced, white emergency lights near the floor will lead you to red lights, which indicate an exit. Please take a moment to find the exits closest to you, and remember, they might be behind you. It's unlikely, but if cabin pressure changes, the panels above your seat will open, revealing oxygen masks. If this happens, reach up and pull a mask toward you until the tube is fully extended. Place the mask over your nose and mouth, slip the elastic strap over your head, and adjust the mask if necessary. Breathe normally and note that oxygen is flowing, so don't worry if the bag doesn't inflate. Be sure to adjust your own mask before helping others. A water evacuation is also unlikely, but just in case, life vests are located under your seats in the economy cabin. If you're seated in the first or business class cabin, life vests are either between your seats, under your seats, or in a compartment under your armrest. To use, pull the tab to remove the vest from its container and then open the pouch. Slip the vest over your head. Fasten the two straps to the front of the vest and then adjust the straps loosely around your waist. If your vest has only one strap, wrap it around your waist and attach it to the buckle in front. As you leave the plane, inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tabs at the bottom of the vest, or manually inflate it by blowing into the tubes at shoulder level. You can activate a light by pulling down on the tab in front. If your vest doesn't have a tab, the light will activate automatically in the water. If necessary, we'll distribute infant life vests or other flotation devices for children who weigh 35 pounds or less. Also, most seat cushions can be used for flotation. Now, before we take off, be sure your seat is upright and locked, your tray table is put away, and all carry-on items are properly stowed. As we come through the cabin for our final You're safety check, please let us know if you have any questions. And finally, now would be a good time for everyone to review the safety information card, which is in your seat pocket. Thanks for your attention. Enjoy your flight.